example by chapter 3 fluid mechanics a water jet, jet of velocity vj index to normal normal to a flat rate that moves to the right at velocity vc this shape this device that a water jet impinges on the flat plate with Vj, the water jet velocity and the velocity of the device is Vc in the right hand side. Find the force required to keep the plate moving at constant velocity if the jet density is The jet area is three centimeter square, and Vj and Vc are Vj. Vj equals to meter on second, and Vc equals to Respectively, neglect the weight of the jet and plate and assume a steady flow with respect to the moving plate with the jet splitting into an equal upward and downward half jet. At first, we should uh, choose an appropriate control volume, which in this figure show it the dotted lines and we can also sketch and for example this is the plate and our control volume the jet we have a control volume of For example, there is a inlet flow at the section A. Inlet flow at section A. And two outlet flow which can be assumed vertical in the direction of example a1 and a2 we are going to calculate the force on the system the force on the system is the summation of inlet outlet for example m dot we can write rho 1 a1 v1 plus minus out minus sigma rho 1 v1 a1 in as we said the suggested control volume of figure is shown also in this picture Cut to the plate support to expose the desired force Rx and Ry, which are shown here. This control volume moves at the speed Vc and R is fixed relative to the plate. Uh, we must satisfy both mass and momentum conservation for the assumed steady flow patterns. There are two outlets and one inlet as we said before and we can write the uh, also the m dot in equals to m dot out so we have one m dot which is row one row j 
AJ multiply the velocity of interest which is the uh, BJ minus BC because it is a moving control volume with BC so the M dot in equals to VC minus BJ minus BC for outflow we can write two expression also equals to rho 1 v 1 a 1 plus rho 1 v rho 2 v 2 a 2 v down down rho j equals to rho 1 equals to rho 2 and uh, a 1 equals to a 2 equals to half of the a j we can Simplify the relation and obtain the first relation for velocities V1 plus V2 equals to 2 Vj minus Vc. Sincerely speaking, this is all that mass conservation tells us. However, from the symmetry of the jet in deflection and the neglect of the gravity on the flow trajectory we conclude that the two velocity v1 and v2 must be equal from symmetry we can conclude from symmetry which is the v1 equals to v2 so we can obtain this relation 2v1 equals to 2vj minus c or v1 equals to v2 equals to vj minus vc this is the velocity as in the outlet flows this equality can be also predicted by Bernoulli equation but the main subject in this problem is the uh, momentum linear equation and we have the magnitude of Vj 20 and magnitude of Vc was 50 from our now as a result we can calculate V1 equals to V2 equals to 5 net on second so we have now the information about the control volume velocity and now we can calculate the force by using the uh, Venus uh, transport theorem which was sigma f equals to sigma m dot let me write for a general case sigma rho 1 v 1 a 1 minus rho 2 v 2 a 2 j v I inlet outlet inlet which is the general case of the uh, equation so we now we can write the sigma we have two outlet in the y direction which is the in the positive direction that we had consider this picture for better understanding of the problem So in y direction we have a rho multiply to v1 multiply to a1 this is the outlet minus which is because of the 
in the y direction in the opposite of y direction go to v to a to outlet minus inlet rho j v j minus b c a j so we with rho v1 equals to 5 a1 equals to a equals to let me see from the 3 centimeters and half 3 on 2 minus rho 5 3 on 2 in, by the, in J direction minus and there is also a rho minus Vj minus Vc5 3 in I direction zero J minus the rho multiply to 50j so sigma f equals to j newton centimeters we have a area in centimeters so we can Uh, converts to meter and have a correction anyway the relation is true and we have the magnitude of the force fx on plus f by j equals to for example now we have the magnitude of velocities in the three in the control volume three sections two outlet and one inlet you we can now write the expression for the linear momentum equation in x and y direction in x direction we have fx equals to sigma m dot u outlet minus m dot u inlet in this case we have two outlet with m dot 1 u1 plus m dot 2 u2 minus m dot j in this case the u at entrance is uh, we can we show with u j and next we can change the magnitude of the velocity we have m dot 1 m dot 2 equals to the we have the expression for m dot is rho v a so for m dot 1 we have rho 1 v 1 a 1 which is 8 on 2 and we have expression for v 1 which was v j minus v c in the previous page so we have rho 1 Rho J V J Rho J multiply to A J V J minus B C. This is the relation for M dot one, M dot two and M dot J. With replacing we can obtain the, the Rx as 
replacing we can n dot one equals to this is equals u one plus u two minus we have m dot g rho j b j a j b j minus b c we have issue rho j a j v j minus b c these are the magnitude of the uh, these relations now we can calculate the fx equals to with simplification of this relation we can obtain the relation for fx equals to minus pro j v a j it is zero because this relation is zero because u1 is in the di one direction and the minus u2 opposite direction and magnitude this is this relation equals to zero and we can write the relation for fx s squared With replacing we can multiply a which is 3 cm per cube and is 3 uh, meter square multiply to 5 square so we can calculate f is equals to Thank <laughs> you.